And Lord bless you, you may be seated. We're speaking, continuing to speak on this subject of having a prayer life. A lot of people have approached me recently and talked about what is going on in our world today. What is going wrong in our world today? And surely we see the signs of the times that are going on all around us. And we see that there are things in many places in our world, be it near or far, that are not right. And so many people have asked my opinion as a pastor, what's wrong with the world? What's going on in the world around us? And I want to tell you today that I might not be able to give you a thorough explanation of the problem. I might not be able to give you a thorough understanding of what is to blame for all that is going on in our world today. But when it comes to, for example, fixing a problem that is in my car or fixing a problem that is in my body, when I take my car to the mechanic or when I take myself or a loved one to the hospital, it's not so important to me that I'm able to see somebody who is able to describe the problem as it is that I'm able to see somebody who knows what the answer is and knows how to fix the problem. And so this afternoon I want to tell you that it may be above my pay grade to understand what has gone wrong with the world. But it is not above my pay grade to stand before you and tell you that I do know the answer for the world. And I do know the solution for the problem. And I'm thankful today that that solution is a connection with Jesus Christ. I stand before you with boldness. And I stand before you unashamed today. And I tell you that Jesus is the answer for the problems that are in the world today. And what we have lost in terms of having that daily communication with the presence of God. Our Father in heaven has the ability to restore it to us. Now I might not be able to control what is happening two or three thousand miles away on the other side of the country. And I might not have the ability to influence except it be through my prayers what is going on even farther than that on the other side of the world. But one thing that I have the ability to influence is what is taking place in my own life and what is taking place in my, the lives of my family who is around me that God has given me influence with. I have the ability to make a difference. If not all the way over there, I have the ability to make a difference right here where God has planted me. So church, my exhortation and encouragement to you all is let's make a difference where God has planted.